Well, hello, hello from Cardiff, Wales. New destination for us. New destination. It is our very first time to Wales and we're so excited to be here. We've wanted uh -huh. to come to Wales for a really long time. And yeah, we're just going to be exploring Cardiff and we're going to show you guys what you can do here in this little mini travel guide. Let's get to it. So today is our first day of sightseeing in Cardiff, so I'm feeling pretty excited. Right now we're visiting Cardiff Castle, which is right in the city centre. We just got our tickets. What was it? It was £25 for the two of us. So twelve fifty dollars each. <laughs> yeah, this place looks pretty cool. Like you have lots of different buildings and different styles. You have different layers of history, so it's going to be fun to explore. We started our visit of Cardiff Castle with a self-guided tour of the castle apartments. This is the newest looking part of the castle as it was renovated in the early 19th century in the Gothic Revival style. As part of the tour we got to see the banqueting hall, the library and a few different rooms, but the place that really caught our attention was the Arab room, designed in a Moorish style which is quite different from the rest of the rooms. From there we continued on to the Norman Keep, which dates to the 11th century. This 12-sided structure sits atop a hill and is surrounded by a moat, and if you climb to the very top, you get some nice 360 degree views of the city. And lastly, we visited the Roman walls, and although these two have been renovated, the foundations date back to 50 AD. That's the first century. So it's not quite lunchtime yet, but we're feeling a little bit hungry and we spotted the castle arcade. So we're just gonna walk in. Hopefully we can find a restaurant that's open. Seeing as Cardiff is nicknamed the city of arcades, another must do was to actually visit one of the arcades. We noticed the aptly named Castle Arcade directly across Cardiff Castle. So that was our next stop. To the balcony we go. And now we're gonna show you the beauty of the Castle Arcade. Our first order of business inside the arcade was food, and it wasn't long before Barker's Tea Rooms lured us in with their decor. The tea room has a vintage feel with mismatched furniture, and it looked super cozy. Oh, hello there. Hello. Are you ready for brunch? Yeah, and I'm very relaxed in this couch, too. This I know, is isn't this place so cool? Place. going in for the avocado on the toast. Oh my gosh. That looks so good. Oh. It's wonderful. Worth the wait. Anytime when you team up cream cheese with salmon, winning combo big time. Another place we suggest visiting in the Castle Arcade is a shop called Fabulous Welsh Cakes. They had the most delicious Welsh cakes and they changed up the flavors every day. We took some back to our Airbnb and had them with tea. Alright, where are we heading next? Well, if you're in the downtown area and then you follow the River Taff, there's a mm -hmm. nice green escape. Oh yeah. And you're just gonna see it. It's just wonderful. It's this massive area and you see people out enjoying the space. There's dogs running around. Puppy puppies <laughs> there's people out enjoying ice cream it's really relaxed really chill and yeah this is just an awesome place to come and enjoy after you've been doing some sightseeing all right guys so it's a saturday here in cardiff and we're staying in the neighborhood of Pontcana. And our Airbnb host just told us there's a market that happens in the neighborhood. So we're gonna head over and apparently there should be some snacks, you know, some little bites. So we're gonna have some lunch because it's already past noon. I'm feeling hungry. Still have a bit of a lingering cold, so I'm having tea. 
This one is mandarin and ginger. Mm. It smells so good. And look at the color. We've both been it's sick. It's kind of so. like orangey. <laughs> That's like the perfect healthy tea for us. How is it? That's nice. That and nice? you know what? I'm kind of eyeing Sam's food that just <laughs> arrived. Sam ordered a Welsh toast with leek, mustard, butter, and cheddar cheese. OMG! That looks really nice. In he goes. All right, this is the masterpiece. So this is a big piece of sourdough bread toast. It's got cheese, it's got leek, and butter. And the mustard. Oh, right, and mustard too. Yeah. I know what that It's good. I've already had a bite of it. Mm. Mm. What do you think? It's so good. The leeks actually make it a little bit juicy. Mm -hmm. And the sourdough is just, that's one of my favorite kinds of bread to have, so. Yeah. It's really tasty. And you know what? We opted for a small little snack because we want cake after. That's right. Carrot cake. <laughs> Sam, you found your favorite cake. We found carrot cake. It looks Ooh, yeah. amazing. Only Check two, it out. Only two pounds. Look how thick the icing is. And then look at that chunks of walnuts. Walnuts. My favorite. How is that? Oh. A sweet love affair. Some of the best carrot cake icing I've ever had. I could just. I mean, everything about it is good, but uh -huh. I could, just, I, could, I could, I wish I could have had the spoon to lick the, the icing <laughs> from the bowl. That's how good it is. All right, that was a fun visit to the market. Yeah, it was. It was. It was actually quite a bit smaller than I thought, but that mm -hmm. that actually made me enjoy it a little bit more. I had kind yeah. of a neighborhood vibe. Definitely yeah. not. A, definitely not a tourist attraction. Mm -hmm. it just kind of felt nice to to experience the city a bit like a local. While Sam is watching cricket, I'm trying to befriend all the dogs that come my way. Two so far, but I think, <laughs> where are you going? So apparently there are some ruins not too far from the Airbnb where we're currently staying. So right now we're on our way to visit the old Bishop's Palace. So we've been walking through Landaff Fields, Landaff Meadows, I think we're almost there. Apparently there's also a cathedral nearby and I think I can see that off in the distance. So we are currently visiting the old Bishop's Palace here in Cardiff and it's so cool because I was not expecting to find ruins in a residential neighborhood. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. Well, what do you think, Mr. Cameraman, who just whacked his head on the branch? <laughs> Things I do to get the shots. Huh? I don't always look at where I'm going. Isn't this such a cool neighborhood, It's so though? cool. It's so cool. And this yeah. is probably somewhere we may not have got to had we not been staying in the Airbnb. I know. A little I'm, bit away from the center. Yeah, I'm really glad we stayed away from the downtown area because we've enjoyed our neighborhood so much. It's, it's opened up a whole new kind of like exploration of the city, yeah. I would say. The following day we finally made it down to Cardiff Bay to explore a bit of the waterfront. We just went for a random stroll but you have plenty to do here with Wales and Millennium Centre, the Pierhead Building, all the bars and restaurants along the Mermaid Quay, the Norwegian Church, the Doctor Who Experience, Cardiff Bay Wetlands Reserve and more. We 
Okay, Sam, where have you brought us? So we are at Principality Stadium, mm -hmm. and this stadium is all about rugby. Rugby is like is the number one sport here in Wales. But sadly, there are no matches while we're in town. <sighs> we're just gonna miss one. Yeah, so it sucks. But anyways, I went to the WRU store, which is the uh, the Wales Rugby Union, mm -hmm. and picked up this cool hat. It was only like two ninety five quid. So yeah, on sale. Bargain. <laughs> and I guess if you're gonna watch a game here, if you're not watching the national team play, you would be watching the Cardiff Blues play, which is a local team. And yeah, I mean, I would love to go to a rugby uh, match. Like, that's something I really wanted to do, but unfortunately I can't. But if you are in town, definitely check the schedule and see if you can find tickets. Another thing you can do in the city is hit up Cardiff Central Market, which is set in a Victorian building. Here you can pick up things like fresh produce, baked goods, fast food, and even some collectible items. And we couldn't leave Cardiff without sampling some Welsh food, so we also hit up a pub for some traditional fare. For our first starter, we ordered a rare bit. Sounds like rabbit, but it's really a toasted piece of bread with a cheese sauce and melted cheese. The second starter was cowl, which is a traditional Welsh stew which can include different meats and seasonal vegetables, but most commonly lamb and leeks. Alright, so I'm going to get one with a piece of meat and with a big old carrot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you find? Oh man, I really like it. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Like you said, it's just the perfect kind of super stew for mm -hmm. like a cold, cold overcast, day. damp, rainy day. Yeah. We're in this nice pub and just have eating warm food. This so is, cozy. This is so good. Then for our main, we also shared a bowl of Welsh faggots, which is a meatball dish served with mashed potatoes, mushy peas, and onion gravy. We only later found out that the meat calls for offals, specifically hardened liver, so we didn't know what we were having, but we clearly enjoyed it since we finished every last bite. And that's it for our visit to Cardiff, Wales. Our trip was short and sweet, but we hope this video gave you a few ideas of things to do in Cardiff on your own visit. Now you know the drill. If you have any other suggestions of cool things to do in and around Cardiff, feel free to share those with fellow travelers in the comments below. Wishing you happy travels and until next time.